At this year's Cattle Industry Summer Meeting in Denver, we had a chance to ask cattlemen from around the country what they think about the proposed GYPSA rule. It's definitely uh, detrimental to our industry. Um, and um, it's, it's going to change the way things are done. And there's probably very few benefactors out of that GYPSA uh, legislation and namely those are the ones, those are probably the attorneys. I think that they've, uh, GYPSA has taken a liberty with what uh, the uh, Congress had offered them and I think that they must be quickly reined in. On GYPSA, I think it's good that we've had the opportunity to extend, to extend the uh, comment period and I think we need to make sure that uh, the voice is heard from all the cattle industry and we have an opportunity to, to get our comments on the table. Okay. Well, if you really read this rule, uh, and start understanding what it could do, it can really hurt individual producers or certainly maybe not uh, uh, do uh, what the, the, maybe the authors intended to do because uh, promoting fairness, we all can wrap our arms around that. How it promotes fairness? Uh, does the government come in and establish fairness? Uh, I don't know that any of us really want that. It's kind of like a, in a ball game. In, in Nebraska, we like to play football. And it's one of those deals when you're in a football game, you want to know the referees there, but you, ever, you don't really ever want to see the referee. Uh, we want to know the government's there, but we really don't ever want to see them. Uh, leave us alone, make sure the game's played right, but don't come in and, and decide the end of the game. Our fear is with the gypsy rule, in a lot of cases, the government's going to decide the end of the game, and that's not what we want in our industry. It's been said that the proposed gypsy rule could be one of the most impactful changes to the beef industry in modern history.